Hello, I'm Mikey Campling and today's vlog is on a subject suggested by um, fantastic uh, freelance editor Jason Whited. I'll put some links to where you can find him uh, um, underneath the show. And the topic is what do you do on the days when you really feel you can't write or you really have that sensation that you don't want to write. Um, just quick off quickly with some things, here's what not to do. Um, and they are probably things that easily come to mind. Things like, oh, well, I'll just go on social media for a bit. You know, I'll just I'll just read all of Twitter. Um, I'll just see if I can connect with the entire world on Facebook. Things like that. They are going to suck far too much time uh, out of your writing slot. Fine to do those in another slot. But, you know, if you have set aside a time for writing, then this is what you need to focus on. Um, the other thing not to do is to stay in the situation that isn't working. And I have done this myself, so I know what I'm talking about. Um, if sitting at your desk, your usual desk, staring at your Scrivener or your Word document, or whatever it is that you're using, and those words just don't seem to be coming, there's no point continuing in that framework. Uh, you need to shift outside of that. So this is a good practice to try and do. Um, just, I'd like to suggest one thing to you, and that is that there is no such thing as a day when you can't write. There is always a time when you can write. I mean, obviously, you know, exception, there are obvious exceptions. You know, you had a, a dreadful ear or something, or some crisis that needs dealing with. And yes, perhaps you can't actually write that day. But what I'm trying to say is the concept where you're sitting there in fine health and everything is going swimmingly around you, and you say, oh, it's no good, I can't do it, I can't rock do it today, it's just not right. The problem with that is, is that that one day will become the next day and you can't write on that day either. And before you know it, it's, you know, three days, four days, a week, a month, a year, and you haven't written anything. So, you know, just try and say that situation doesn't exist, okay? You can write, it's, you, you know, you have something to write with, you're there, the pen's there, you know, let's do it. Um, but you do need to try and use some mental tricks to get you out of that situation. So here's a few things that might be useful to you. Um, how about setting yourself a really low word target? So say if you can normally rattle off, you know, a thousand words in a given time and half it, you know, go, go right down to uh, 500 or even less. You know, make it really, really small because otherwise you're, you're not going to get over that first hurdle of just putting one word after another. Um, you can, and, and some people like this, just kind of write anything, even if some people, I've even heard people say they write the word the over and over again until they sort of get fed up and write something else. I, I don't do that myself. Maybe that might work for you. Um, there are more productive things I think you can do. For instance, how about working out of sequence? Um, it can be a bit, there are sometimes hard parts that are just a slog to get through and you know, why stick at it if what you're not doing is getting through them? What you perhaps need is to skip on a little bit ahead or perhaps go back and, you know, revise something from earlier. Uh, maybe the end of the chapter is going to be really exciting, so why not skip ahead and do a bit of work on that? And that might inspire you to go back and build up to that point, for instance. Um, if you're mired in a bit of description, then perhaps working on some dialogue for later in the same scene or the same chapter. Um, you know, switch it up a bit. So it could be the other way around. Perhaps you're you're finding your dialogue is is sort of oh seeming unrealistic. It's not ringing true to you. And you think, oh, this is no good. You know, I must stare at it until it magically puts itself right. Well, it it won't. You know, so perhaps you go on a little bit and do a bit of description or something like that. Um, perhaps you do something on a some work on another character uh, who's involved. You know give them a bit of a voice for change, just ring the changes and that might just get you going again. Um, you could also try another completely different task on the same piece. Uh, so for instance, you could look ahead at another chapter and get that outlined. Perhaps uh, you want to look a bit further ahead and uh, get a bit of outline done. Perhaps you've already done an outline and you want to go back and um, revisit that and just, just make sure it's all okay, you know, a little bit of work on that is still useful and you're still on the same piece. And I stress that because I don't think it's a particularly good idea to go and work on another project. Uh, it might work for you and some people can easily cope with, 
you know, two or three projects. Um, depends how much time you have, I think. If your time is precious and limited on what you're writing, then I, I think dallying with another project might just send you off the rails and you might not get back to the thing that you should be finishing. Um, so there may, if none of those things are working for you, um, there may be some other task for that same piece, which, you know, otherwise would get put off too much later. So something like a blurb or a, a summary, um, something that perhaps you're going to use later. Perhaps you're sending it out to an agent or it might be for a competition or a submission to a some other forum or website that you want to send your work into and, you know, you're looking for a, a a summary of your work, you will always need some kind of blurb somewhere, even if it's to use in an Amazon description, and most of us probably leave it right to the end and then find it an awful job. Well, that's something you could be getting on with. And just thinking on that different task might get you excited about your story again and think, yeah, actually it is a rather good story. I think I will crack on with it and write more. Um, things like that you could do. If none of those are working still, then something that is at least writing could be something like a blog post. And I'm differentiating that with social media because it, it is one of those things that you're going to sit and do and focus on. If you are going to do that, though, I would recommend setting yourself a time limit. So let's say for the next half hour, I'm going to write a blog post. Um, because Otherwise, you might think, oh, well, I'll just check the comments and I'll just check the statistics and maybe something needs updating. Oh, I wish I hadn't put that page there. I wish I, you know, and I'm not talking about mucking about with your website for three hours. I'm talking about writing a blog post. Um, if at the end of half an hour it isn't quite ready, then just save it as a draft, depending on what you're using. If you're, if you're using WordPress, that's very easy. Just instead of publishing it, just save as a draft and you can get back to it another time. So that's uh, a brief run through some of my ideas that I've had. Um, it might be worth finding two or three of these that work for you and things that work um, for you might not be in my list at all. You might have your own ideas, in which case, please do uh, let me know. There's, you can put comments on this YouTube video or comment on the blog post. I will post this up on uh, mikeycampling.com. Um, it'd be great to hear from you. Um, but if you have found a little toolkit of two or three ways that you like to use when writing is slow, um, write them up somewhere maybe, stick them on a bit of paper, you know, it could be a little post-it note on the side of your monitor, it could be a huge banner on your wall, because it is so easy to think, okay, this is just you know, not going anywhere today, and I'm just going to stare at it and stare at it and stare at it. And, you know, you write a sentence, you know, it's just rubbish, you delete it, and you put it back how it was five minutes ago. And two hours later, and you're still there, and you're not getting anywhere. You need to shake yourself out of that routine for a moment. Um, if nothing at all is working, there's nothing wrong with having a break. You shouldn't feel guilty about it. Uh, just make sure you do something valuable with that time. So, you know, perhaps it's time for a walk in the countryside or a trip to the gym or family time, something like that, that is going to leave you at least feeling a bit energised and thinking, well, yeah, now I remember why I'm doing this, you know, um, and get back to your writing as soon as possible, the same day if possible, if not the next day, you know, make that a, a rule if you're having a break try it. There's a difference between having a break and giving up. So uh, if you just say to yourself, I'm having a break today or tomorrow, you know, having the weekend off uh, to spend with my family, that's absolutely great. Uh, wonderful. Um, and then just make sure you've set that date. But, you know, a certain time on Monday, I will be back at my desk and I will get some words down. And other little tricks, I know that a lot of people like to use. These are a bit sort of old hats. So I'd I'll just quickly uh, run over them, uh, run through them perhaps. <laughs> um, things like some people like to never start with a blank page or a, a blank chapter, so they might make sure they write the first sentence of the next chapter before they stop, so that when they go back they've got somewhere to pick up from. Some people never like to finish a chapter at the end of a session, make sure they always left a few sentences so that again they can just work on from there. 
things like that might be worth doing. Um, also, just making yourself some brief notes might help. So, you know, finishing the session today, allow yourself five minutes just to jot down what you're going to do next time. So you've got something just to pick you up and start from. Anyway, I hope that helps. Um, I'd better go and try and apply some of these things myself. Uh, it's easier said than done sometimes, isn't it, to, uh, to have wonderful habits. But whatever happens, uh, keep writing, keep tapping away, keep smiling, and please do get in touch. I'm, I'm on here on YouTube, um, at Mikey Campling. I usually put the audio out as a, a podcast as well, so that is even on iTunes. And if you go to my site, you can subscribe in all manner of ways. And I even have a, a newsletter list, which uh, I promise not to bother with you, bother, <laughs> bother you too often with if you'd like to sign up. OK, that's it for today. Uh, do please get in touch with any of your own ideas. And that's it. Bye.